What's going on do-it-yourselfers? My name is Tom. I am the owner of TriGen Appliance Repair. I am a third generation appliance repair tech and small business owner in my family. So you can kind of say it runs in my blood. Anyway, I like to put small videos together to try to help people with things that I feel are fairly easy repairs and maybe some repairs that people may not really understand right off the bat and that one little bit of information can change it all up. So, pictured here is a perfectly working spray wand, spray arm, whatever you want to call it with no clogged up holes in the wand or nothing. All the paths of water are going perfectly where they should and that's exactly as it should be. So if you have some mysterious puddle of water that is leaking every time you run the dishwasher you find this puddle of water in the bottom maybe in the corner of your dishwasher and you can't figure out for the life of you where it is coming from the inlet valve is fine the dishwasher is level there's no water running out of it here's what's going on we've all held our thumb over the garden hose to create more pressure or to spray the water somewhere we wish for it to go right well that's kind of what's happening inside the dishwasher only it's, it's food or debris kind of plugging up or halfway plugging up one of the holes or more in the spray arm or the spray wand either in the bottom or the top or the middle wand and it's redirecting it right into the corner of the door and the door seals or the gaskets are not really made to withhold or withstand that kind of direct spray because it's quite a lot of pressure the pump really really can spray some water like pretty tough and that's why your dishes get so clean and you just need to take the wand off there's probably a hundred different YouTube videos on how to take off the wand of every make and every model dishwasher you can think of on here so figure out how to take off your wand get something like a toothpick or maybe the end of a hanger and just sort of kind of pick out some of that debris and then run it under the sink water and watch it kind of come out of the hole nice and straight get all the debris out of there put it back on and you should be good to go and believe me this information did not come easily this took about five different trips and about six donated hours of work trying to figure out where this leak was coming from about 12 years ago on a dishwasher and finally I found it and every time I run into this situation now I can help people and tell them what's going on so I hope it works out for you um, if you found this video to be of value feel free to leave a donation I leave my PayPal and Venmo links in the description and at the very least, you could share it with someone it may help, and I'd really appreciate that. Take care.